that was that everything you thought it'd be? It was so much better. <laughs> I'm not. Uh... Am I not on the mark? No, the focus is what people thought. I just appear that way. It's blurry, naturally. Yeah. The first is. <clears throat> Let's not have the voice crack. Is huge. This particular pump has a displacement over, over, of over, is huge, is huge. You want me to start with, can we stop with the is huge? Did it good enough of those? These and other high temperature applications. I know what I'm supposed to say. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> today let's discuss, today let's discuss, today let's discuss some, man, that is a hard <laughs> word. And then there are positive displacement pumps, like your pump. <laughs> if we flip your process liquid and the known liquid at the same time, you'll see that the marble. Gotta wait for the marbles to travel. Should we have thinner liquids? So there you have it. Two methods to estimate a liquid's viscosity without the use of a viscometer. I feel very Harry Potter-ish with <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Don't hold it like that. Here at our lab, at this elevation, our atmospheric pressure is about 29 inches of mercury vacuum. Oh, sorry, it's not a vacuum. We'd, we'd be dead. Uh, proper pump cleaning. Yep. Mm -hmm. Each step is done over a set amount of time to control the process. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling up here. I don't even know what the script says and offer an alternative to traditional jacketed pumps for these and other high temperature applications. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Ah.